Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to get and how to use a VPN on your iPhone or your iPad. Now, I have a totally different video on how to get a VPN for your computer and all the benefits of a VPN, a little bit of a longer video, and I'll put that in the description below if you wanna learn more about what a VPN is. So I'm not gonna cover that here, but the two main benefits of a VPN are basically online security and online privacy where you could anonymously browse the internet. So how do you add a VPN to a phone? Let me show you the default setting on the iPhone. Then I wanna show you my favorite VPN service that I've used for years and I really recommend it. And I'll put a link in the description as well. Sometimes they give me an affiliate link too with a discount code. So I'll put that in the description below as well. Right now, let's go to the settings. And here inside of settings, you want to go to general and inside of general, you should scroll down here and there is a VPN option. Click this and it says add VPN configuration. Press this and the things that you need to know are the different types of VPN that are available. And then underneath that, there's description, server, remote ID and username and password. Now, all of that information is provided to you by the whatever VPN service that you choose. They're free VPNs and they're paid VPNs. The benefit with the paid ones are they do not decrease your speed when you browse the internet. The free ones, unfortunately, decrease the speed when you browse the internet, so I almost never use them. And I've tested a ton of different VPNs. Every single one, I think, free or paid, I've tested out just so I could recommend the best one that I've came across. So where do you get this information? Let me show you. And this makes the whole process much, much easier if you follow along here, because I'm just gonna use an app from the VPN provider and skip manually typing in any of this information. So let me show you that app here. Go to the app store and the app is called NordVPN. And you could do some research on NordVPN. It's by far the best VPN service out there, in my opinion. And if you do some research, I think you'll come across the same conclusion here. I'll go ahead and download and open the app so I could show you exactly what to do once you jump in. And this is the home page of the app and we're not yet connected to a VPN. So we have to either log in if we already have it. Now I signed up for my computer. So all the computers you see around me are protected by the same VPN service. Now I'm just gonna add it to my phone. So I could either log in or sign up. And if you use my link below, it's just gonna open a web browser. So sign up with that because you should get a better deal through the link. And then you could come here and just log in with your username, which is your email and your password. Pretty straightforward process there. And if you jump into the app here, you just have to press quick connect here after you log in. And it should automatically log you in through the VPN setting I showed you in the beginning. You don't have to manually type in anything. The only thing is I only wanted to show you that to show you where that information is going automatically. So it makes it really, really easy here. And another thing you could do here, once you are logged in, right now I'm connected to a VPN. You could see I'm connected to a United States VPN. This is where I am right now, I'm in the US. But if you scroll down, you could see all these other countries. In fact, there are over 50 different countries here that you could connect to, to their VPN services here through this app. So you could check out all those over here and connect to that service if you wanted to do that. Now, let me show you back in the settings of your phone. As you could see right there, it says I'm connected to the VPN here. I didn't type in anything. I didn't need to know any of that information. The app took care of that for me. Another reason why I wanted to recommend this, because if you're not a technical person, I remember a lot of the VPNs that I've tried out. It's very, very technical, the setup of it, and very confusing. This makes all of that very, very easy. And if you go back to the homepage of your settings, now you could see your VPN is turned on right here. You see that, it's checked on and he created that new section under personal hotspot in your phone or your iPad settings and it's turned on. Anytime you wanna turn VPN on, you could just go ahead and turn it off right here with that slider. Let's go back to NordVPN here and I'll show you something in the settings. On the top right, there's a setting slider. Click that and it says VPN connection. You could actually click this here and it says protocol, use recommended. So remember some of the ones I showed you in the beginning in the settings that we weren't sure which one to choose. This kind of lays that out for you. So I'm just gonna leave on use recommended. We don't wanna change that. But auto connect, you could select that and you could actually turn this on to always. So every time you browse the internet, it auto connects to this VPN service, which I recommend too. So you could turn this to always 
or only on Wi-Fi networks if you like to do that. Very useful auto connect option in there. And finally, how do you know you're connected to a VPN? Right now I showed you it's connected, but to double check right in the settings of your phone, if you scroll down here to get to this command center, you could see right on top next to my Wi-Fi, it says VPN. That means I'm connected to a VPN. So whenever I'm browsing the internet here now, I have all the benefits of a VPN and I could always go back to the app here and connect to a different VPN connection here if I want to do that. And that's all there is to know about using this VPN service or really any VPN service on your iPhone or iPad to really protect yourself with security and privacy of VPN. Again, watch the other video that I mentioned, check out the link below to NordVPN and all the other resources in the description below this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.